Hi, so today we're going to go over on how to make kombucha. Alright, uh, kombucha is a basically a fermented tea drink. Uh, you basically put tea, sugar, and then what we call a scoby, which is a, kind of like a bacteria. It's kind of like a, how yogurt's made. I guess that's the best way to explain it. And you would basically get one of these from, you could either order it or you get it from your friend. Uh, that also um, ferments kombucha. All right, so the ingredients are very, very basic. All right, uh, so one thing you need is uh, tea. This is tea that have brewed ahead of time. Uh, basically, uh, about a little bit more than a quart of tea. Um, I used about nine tea bags. I used Louisiana tea because uh, I like the flavor of the iced tea. Okay. Um, by the way, this is a two-gallon jug. Okay, um, and always to make kombucha in a glass um, food-safe jar uh, because you don't want lead or any weird chemicals leaching into your tea. Okay, so that's in here. And then what I also did was I made a simple syrup. Um, this is basically two cups of sugar and just whatever water um, covers everything. Uh, again, and this is basically the sugar as needed for the, the mother, uh, is what they call it, uh, to consume. So right now, uh, all I have in here, in this jar, is just um, tea and water. So normally how I would do this is, um, because for the camera I can't necessarily do it because of the time, I would put the sugar in the bottom, then load it with the hot tea, and then fill it with uh, lukewarm water. So basically what I'm going to start doing is start filling it with filtered water now and I marked ahead of time of how much uh, water I want in this jar because I don't want to get it to too full as you can tell this is very simple to do okay so I'm just basically testing the temperature it's pretty much room temperature and now it's time to put the mother in there. Uh, basically, this is the original one I had. So I'm going to just put it back in here. And these are the ones I've been growing. I can see it's gotten pretty strong and healthy. Okay, so I'm going to squeeze this back in here. Um, I'm probably going to end up giving this to uh, a friend that wants to grow it too. And then this is left over from the previous batch. You can see there's like stuff growing, but just look away. Okay. So, at this point, I have the tea, I have the sugar, I have water, I have the mother. Uh, basically after this, at this point here, um, I have a towel. Let me just rinse off my hands really quick. reason is um, I don't want to get the cloth dirty. Alright, so I have this cloth here. Um, you want it where bugs cannot get in because they're going to smell the sweet um, sugar water smell and they'd love to eat it. So once I put the cloth over it to protect it and then rubber band to keep it in place. Uh, you can see over here the mother's floating. Um, it's probably going to start reacting right now and start um, eating sugar and building a new mother. Basically that's what happens every time you do this. Uh, you put in the old one, um, you start over time, you see a thin layer of um, this uh, scoby and then over time you get thicker and thicker. Uh, you also notice uh, a pungent smell. So what you want to do is um, after maybe about a week, it depends on the temperature, uh, you taste a little. You take a little straw, put it down there, and you sip it and see what it tastes like. Um, it should be a little sour, a little bit like vinegar, um, not too sweet. Uh, if it's, it's if it's sweet, most likely it's not ready yet. So, well, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to wipe off the side here. Oops. Make sure it is uh, not dirty, and I'm going to probably put it in the cabinet, uh, a dark place. Uh, not to move it because once you move it you see over here 
you will break the seal from the top that this uh, mother will uh, work really hard to build so that's the thing you definitely want to avoid all right so currently this is the bottom phase um, after your kombucha has been sitting for a week or two um, you would get this type of growth in there uh, basically a later a layer of the scooby um, this one over here I have multiple layers um, I'm touching it it does feel a little slimy it's okay to touch um, it's not as gross as you would think it is All right so what I'm gonna do is the first thing you should do is to take this out because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bottle the kombucha that I have brewed so this one has been growing for maybe about three months now and it has gotten pretty thick uh, it's pretty healthy um, the cool thing about this is that um, every time you um, do a batch you see over here uh, you actually grow another layer so uh, what I did is I moved it to a metal bowl here you can take a look and see what it looks like they say it looks kind of not too pleasant but you know once you touch it a couple times you get used to it so and along with that I'm going to about scoop out um, maybe about three cups of the liquid um, and this is just to promote um, the batch to start again um, because it needs the bacteria, it needs the sour, it needs the acidity, right? Okay, so now we're going to the bottle. Um, I just used these bottles from uh, previous purchases of kombucha. So now I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Here. Okay, so I like to flavor mine. Um, I would take a fruit such as a... Um, Let me try to get a focus here. It's having trouble focusing. Come on. We gotta go back here. Okay, there you go. Okay, so what I take is something like a raspberry here. Um, I take in a bottle. I probably put about two of them. So, but I do try to break it a little bit. Try to get that juiciness uh, because it does require some of the sugar and what this does is that uh, when I put the kombucha in uh, you go into the second fermentation process if you can see over here it's not really carbonated you could drink it right now but um, it actually tastes a little gross I tried it before and it's not great uh, what you actually need is um, the kombucha to uh, mellow so what I do is I put it into these bottles um, usually with fruit because you know I like the flavor of like raspberries um, over here also I can see I have lemons and this is actually uh, ginger candy alright so I'm just going to continue to pour alright so now back to the second uh, a process here where I'm basically filling filling the bottles up all right now you see some fizz right but it's not really that fizzy at this point you need the second fermentation to make the drink carbonated so what I'm just going to do is just wipe it off here it's clean the kombucha is going to interact with the raspberry here uh, eating up the sugars and what is it going to do is it's going to start uh, a carbonation process so what I usually do is at room temperature I take this and I leave it in the warm place for maybe about three days and from that days afterwards I burp the bottle so basically when you open it you should hear pss, just like soda okay so uh, that's basically it um, I'm going to continue emptying out this jar um, and hopefully I'll yield like maybe six or eight bottles um, this jar here is about roughly about two gallons. All right. So, um, if you have any comments, 
please leave them below. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer, answer them. Thank you. Okay, so this time I yielded about uh, 11 bottles. Okay, uh, sometimes you may get a little more, a little less. It depends how much evaporates. So I got a good amount here. So uh, just to recap of what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to take these, store it basically in a warm place, uh, dark, away from the sun, um, basically uh, to allow the second fermentation to occur. It's going to eat the, the fruit inside, you can see over here, and create new sugar from the sugars. It's going to eat that, uh, it's going to release more carbonation. Uh, and then the kombucha is going to be fizzy. Um, this also mellows out the flavors a little bit because it starts taking the characteristics of uh, the fruit that you put in here. And then afterwards, you would put it in the fridge. I would suggest to leave it there for maybe about two days before you start drinking. So at that point, you can start enjoying uh, fresh tasting, uh, wonderful kombucha. Hi, so this uh, has been a couple days. Um, I had it mellow for uh, this time three days and then I left it in the fridge uh, for additional two days now I pulled these two out I just wanted to show you what this looks like here there's a little condensation but um, here you can see over here uh, let's get this out of the way I guess we don't want to focus on that uh, this is basically a lemon piece and what it looks like um, it looks like it turned into some kind of pickle and uh, it's supposed to be like that so you can eat it It'll taste like a, kind of like a pickle. This one is, let me wipe this over. This one's the raspberry. As you can see, it became a pale white color. Uh, there's some little remnants on the bottom over here. So you can see that. And that's perfectly normal. This is what it's supposed to look like. And like I said, remember the fizz part? Let's see if we can hear it. Oh, hopefully the camera picked that up. Let me try this one. Oh, this one's tough. But you heard a little fizz. You see over there, uh, you probably can't see the smoke, but on the camera over here, there's some smoke. Now, the way I normally prepare this is um, I take something like glass and I use a strainer. Uh, the reason for that is sometimes when you pour it out, uh, you may not necessarily want to eat the fruit. Um, again, there's nothing wrong with eating the fruit, it's just um, some people don't enjoy it. And here's a little close-up of it. You see, this is used to be a raspberry, so the kombucha basically took all the color off from it. Um, in this case, um, I didn't have a, a mother grow farm from this. Uh, occasionally, if you leave it too long, uh, you start having a little skin, just like uh, the big kombucha batch. So. This is basically what it looks like. And now I'm gonna enjoy my nice fresh cold kombucha. Thanks. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. And if you can, please subscribe. Thank you.